Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Audio with Alex, and today I'm going to show you how to clean up your session in terms of file size and organization, and um, even if you were to uh, hand it off to another producer, or mixer, or master, or masterer. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is my session right here. It's uh, only five tracks of audio, and then two reverbs and a master. It's not very big. Um, so as you can see, I have a one group and um, this is my regions bin and you can see it's full there's definitely not only five regions of audio there and that's what we're gonna do we're only gonna make five regions of audio so uh, yeah right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press F8 or our hand tool up there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename these F8 once again um, I'm gonna rename these uh, whatever you would like to rename them so I'm gonna name this guitar left and this one, guitar right, of course, because that makes the most sense. Anyway, and you can see they appear in our region bin. Yay, that's awesome. So uh, region bins can increase the, f the size of your file dramatically. It's it's ridiculous. Um, you don't want to have a one gig song that's only five tracks. So I'm just going to rename that lead vocal right there. And now what I'm going to do is, you can see I have, I have little tidbits right here where I've uh, moved stuff around. We're going to press F6 and F7 at the same time, or F8 as well. And that just gives us our multi-tool. And we're just going to drag around this, all of this. And we're going to hit Shift Option 3. And that will consolidate that area. As you can see, they're selected in the regions bin. Shift or Alt if you're on PC, and then 3. And that will consolidate that so it's all one giant um, region. Just look at that, it's so pretty. Anyway, <laughs> and that of course appeared in our regions bin as well. So we're going to rename this as well. We're going to name it, press F8 once again. Name it uh, backing vocal. Not caking, backing. There we go. Backing vocal. There we go. One, because we have two. And backing vocal too. Look at that. Nice and neat. Anyway, now we're going to go through our region bin here. And as you can see, uh, when I select backing vocal, the backing vocal gets selected on um, timeline. And these are all our useless audio tracks that were either overdubs or re-recording or other things that I didn't label. So as you can see, the guitar is very neatly sorted that Pro Tools does for you. Left and right. Look at that. Nice. Nice and clean. And those are the original ones, and as you can see, they're not there anymore. And then our lead vocal, of course, right there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get rid of all this useless crap, because we don't need it. Why would you need that? That's just a waste of file space. And as you can see, it's not selecting anything there. And yes, 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 we want to delete it from the disk. Yes, 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 yes. We understand. We're not going to get it back. Be careful when you're doing this, though, because you don't want to delete any raw audio that you have recorded that is in your session. And yes, we're going to get rid of these because we don't want them. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Now we just have our tracks that we have. Right? Oh, no, that one isn't existent. But as you can see, all the other ones are selectable. Yeah, well, let's get rid of that one. Yes. Bye. There we go. Look at that. Nice and neat. There's only five there now. That's what I want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit um, F6 and F5, or F6 and F7 at the same time. And that's our multi-tool. And we're going to drag all the entire session. And we're going to shift alt if you're on the PC or option if you're on the Mac um, 3. And that will consolidate everything. And as you can see, it makes, um, makes new things in the regions right there as well. And this is so if you're giving it to a re-recording artist or uh, somebody to mix uh, and they're not using Pro Tools, uh, they can take the raw audio and just stick it right into Logic or whatever they're doing. Uh, another neat tip here is uh, Elastic Audio. Make sure it's on none, if, unless of course you're stretching audio. Please do that or else you will have an incredible CPU um, problem and it's going to suck. <laughs> and this will actually... Uh, if, if you do turn Elastic Audio off, make sure it's on none, uh, you will be able to use uh, uh, plugins like this. My hand is going faster than my mouth. 
um just like isotope uh, ozone 4 here um it's a very powerful plugin and uh if you have elastic audio on none it will drastically increase the cpu usage of your computer anyway guys thanks for watching um hope you enjoyed